Thank you for tapping in with your boy Bobby Bro TV on the Pavilion Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitter. Let's go. I know, I know y'all know, I know y'all know like I know that y'all know that the NBA season has already started. I know y'all know like I know that the Warriors have already played two games in Japan. I know, like I know y'all know. I know y'all know like I know that I know that the <laughs> The Warriors done won both day games against the Wizards, which I, which 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 ah, uh, it was expected. Now the Wizards didn't lay down. The, the, yeah, they didn't lay down. They they played good ball. Uh, but the Warriors did come out victorious, and I think they are ready to start the NBA season. The Boston Celtics and the Hornets played today. The Boston Celtics didn't look like they missed too many steps. The Boston Celtics look like they will be fine without M.A. Udoka. The Boston Celtics look like the Boston Celtics of last year. This is going to be a great season. The Boston Celtics and the Hornets played today. Uh, the final was the Celtics 134, Hornets 93. The next game we have today will be the Jazz, the Utah Jazz against the Toronto Raptors at 6 p.m. And then after that, it'll be the Spurs and uh, the Rockets at 7 p.m. I want to know who everybody think going to be the top seeds of the 2022-2023 season because from what I'm seeing right now, the teams that were good last year are great right now. Which means there's going to be a problem for everybody else. I'm ready to see. I, I seen the Grizzlies play last night and, and John Morant didn't play. Uh, they played the Bucks. Uh, John Morant didn't play as far as, as well as um, Giannis. Giannis didn't play. And I expected both of them to play. I don't know why they did not play, but I, I did expect both of them to play. I want to see how they work with their new cast members. But the Milwaukee Bucks, the, at the beginning of the game, I was like, come on now, what the fuck is going on? Because y'all really playing the new guys from the Grizzlies. Y'all really playing the new guys with a couple of the old guys couple of guys off the old roster, off the roster from last year. And the game was so close. I was like, what in the fuck is going on? I don't know. These boys really must have lost it. They must have ain't as good as we think. They, I don't, I'm don't. i tired of seeing the team being sorry at the beginning of the season and then get, being good. I want to see you be good at the beginning and go all the way through like that. So I'm glad they caught themselves and they brought that shit back together. To win the game against the Grizzlies. I mean, yeah, yeah, against the Grizzlies. I don't want to see the Timberwolves play. There's still a lot of acting and theater going on over there. I don't understand it. Matter of fact, I do want to see them play because all the shit that that, that the Timberwolves talk about and, and, and the shit that they say, I want to see if they're going to be able to back any of that up. I'm ready to see the Lakers play. Let me see. So we got tomorrow. Monday, the 76 is playing the Nets. The Magic playing the Grizzlies. Uh, the Thunder playing the Nuggets. The Kings playing the Lakers, all right, so I'll get to see the Lakers play tomorrow night. I'll get to see the Lakers play tomorrow night. I really want to see what they got going on. I really want to – it ain't no hype going on around the team. But I want to see what they're what they, what they working on. I want to see what kind, of, what kind of jail they got going on. Did they get anything mashed up at practice? I want to see does Bron think he's going to even make it to the playoffs with this team because we'll see that tomorrow. 
We'll see that tomorrow because this is not a, a all new team. Yeah, they're all new together. But these guys been in the league for a long time. So I'm expecting them to come together and play like they know what they're doing together. And and be victorious against the Kings. We we we'll see what the Kings do. I know the Kings have a new head coach uh that came from the Warriors. So we'll see what he do. Uh with his roster, with his new roster. But yeah, that's the game that I'm ready to see tomorrow. I will be reporting on all the games, but yeah, I want to really see. I want to see what the Lakers buy. Oh, the Nets and the 76ers. I forgot about them. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely watching them tomorrow, 730. I'm really watching them to see what Ben Simmons does. Because I really think this is going to be a show out season for Ben Simmons. I don't, I don't really I, – I know what KD going to do. I know what Kyrie going to do. But Ben Simmons, if they if Ben Simmons is, is the Ben Simmons of old, even better – yeah, they're going to cause a problem this season. And uh, like I said, I think tomorrow we're going to see that with them. Uh, which direction they're going to go uh, as far as who they're going to play, how they're going to play. Just hopefully everybody stay healthy on every team so we can have a great season because uh, it's starting off good. The Clippers play the Trailblazers at 1030 tomorrow night. Uh, <clears throat> same time as the Lakers and the Kings game, but it's going to be on different uh, different channels. Uh, Kings and the Lakers will be on NBA TV, and uh, the Trailblazers and the Clippers will be on KTLA. I don't know what station that is. Y'all find that shit out y'all self. Look it up. KTLA. Y'all find that shit out y'all self. Yeah. Uh, y'all let me know in the comments. I'm going to let you know top three seeds right now for the NBA. I'm calling it right now. Warriors number one. Oh, 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 let me say this too. And y'all, y'all can say whatever you want about whatever I talk about. But that, but all that analysis shit that's going on with the NBA that's saying the Warriors gonna be the eighth seed right now. Y'all said that shit last year. Y'all said that shit every year that they have won the championship. So ain't nobody listening to those lies. Y'all listen to what the fuck I'm saying. The Warriors will be number one. The Nets will be two. Hmm. Let me see. Let me see it will be three. And the Grizzlies will be number three. Nope. Boston Celtics will be number three. Top three. Warriors, Nets, Boston Celtics. I'm calling it right now. NBA Finals 2022-2023 season will be the Warriors and the Brooklyn Nets. I'm calling it right now. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Y'all hit me up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. This year's your boy, Bobby Bruh TV, on the Pavilion Podcast. I appreciate y'all for listening to me today. Peace.